according to Amutenya, before independence, the city's infrastructure was characterized by a lack of modern amenities and services. However, significant strides have been made over the years, which has transformed Benduk into a vibrant urban center. Um, in terms of infrastructure development or improvement, I should say actually we have seen notable um, improvement in terms of our infrastructure in the city. Um, and uh, Ventuk has undergone really, if you should say, a facelift in terms of infrastructural development uh, marked by various establishment of modern um, facilities. We we'll talk about modern roads, utilities, uh, shopping malls. Uh, you talk about um, ex um, expansion of the city in terms of the size and as well as the growth of our city. So we are really we, we, we have really done um, the best in terms of um, moving Venduk uh, forward. On the other hand, Amtenga said the population of Venduk has experienced a steady growth over the years, fueled by factors such as rural urban immigration and economic opportunities among others. The influx has led to increased demand for housing, basic services and infrastructure posing challenges in managing the city's development post-independence. This has been supported by the Namibia Statistic Agency 2023 Population and Housing Census Preliminary Report, which showed that Comas region remains the most populous region in the country, with a population of 494,729 people. Ventuk has really also grown as a city in terms of the population. We have um, more people coming to the city hoping to find jobs and other opportunities that they may not be able to find in their various regions. And of course that also has an impact on the city's ability to be able to provide um, uh, municipal services, efficient and effective municipal services to our residents. So Ventuk it's really a grown city and we are continuously looking forward uh, to be a sustainable and a, a, a sustainable uh, and a getting city. Of course, we our vision now we are looking at 2027, but as, as you know, being sustainable, being caring does not stop. It's something that we continuously do to be able to provide services to our residents. Despite these challenges, the city has implemented innovative solutions to address them. Sustainable urban planning practices, investment in renewable energy initiatives, and upgrading projects for informal settlements are among the proactive measures taken by the city. Amutenya added that the city might not be where it aspired to be, but it is not where it was pre-independence.